Hello everyone. Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Kavya and I'm here to explain the SAS Certified Specialist question number 19. If you are watching this video for the first time, please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you like the video and share the video to your friend who need the SAS certification. Let me enter into the question number 19. The question number 19 says that there was a data set named input.emp data. If the employee is designated as finance and ID and has served in the company for over 17 years, then give them a 15% increase in their salary. He is saying that there was a data named EMP data, which is present in the input library. And if the employees is designated as finance and IT, we want the employees who are present in the finance and IT sector and also has served in the company for over 17 years. We want the people who worked in the company over 17 years, that is greater than or equals to 17 years. If they worked in the company for over 17 years, then we have to increase their salary by 15%. And the questions they are asking are, how many finance and IT employees meet the criteria for the salary adjustment? How many finance and IT employees means how many employees are present in the company in the department of finance and IT and also meet the criteria for the salary adjustment. What is the criteria actually? The criteria was who has worked in the company over 17 years. That's the criteria. We want the people who are present in the department of finance and IT and also meet the company for over 17 years. Meet the criteria. And the second question was what is the total additional expenditure being cured by the company after implementing the data set? We want how much salary was increased by the company for the employees. Means we have increased the salary by 15%. But we don't want the salary by individual. We want total amount of money spent by the company to increase the salary for the employees. For this, let me open the SAS environment. And for this, we have to write the lib name statement to get the library named as input because he said there was a data named EMP data which is present in the input library. And I have a data set which is present in my desktop in the folder of datas. Let me open the datas. This is the datas and let me copy the path and paste it in the SAS environment and here and the semicolon and run the statement. Let me check the log if there are any issues and log says that input was created, input library was created and let me open it and we have many data sets in the input library. From this we want EMP data and this is the EMP data. From this we have five variables and from there we want only the finance and IT sector. So let me create a data statement. Let me create the data set by using the data statement. Data eligible by using the input data set named input.emp data. I will use the where statement because we want the employees who are present in the department of finance and IT. Where clause can be more comfortable than the if clause. So I will use the where department that is a variable which we have in the data set. And we want only the finance and IT sector. So let me write that. And we also want the year, number of years have experienced who have worked in the company over 17 years. Means we want the people who worked in the company over 17 years. For this, I will use the intact function, intact, which is used for the uh, counting the number of intervals between two dates. So we want the year difference between uh, how many years they joined in the company and from today. For this, let me use the intact. Intact of a uh, year, we want year, we can also calculate day, month and year from the two dates and there is a date variable in the data set and also 
So up to today we want. Let me close this. He also asked that employees should work in the company over 17 years. For this I will write greater than or equals to 17. And run. While executing this. Check the log. There are four observations and five variables. And let me open the data set which is present in the work library. When I open that there are four observations. Actually, when we compare the data set from the input, that is EMP data, which is present in the input library, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 observations. But the criteria was the employees who worked in the company for over 17 years. So, there are only 4 observations who worked in the company over 17 years. And the first question answer was, it's 17, sorry, 4 observations. And what is the second question was, what is the total additional expenditure incurred by the company after implementing the data set? We want how much money spent by the company for the employees who worked in the company over 70 years. For this, first of all, let me add that we should add the people who are working in the company for over 17 years by 15% in their salary. So let me create a new data set named eligible one. By using the set statement, uh, we can take the input as the eligible and then we will create a new variable named total dot expenditure, total underscore expenditure and uh, by using the assignment statement that we created and someday we want to increase the salary by 15%. 15% is nothing but 0.15 and the run statement let me execute this data step and check the log if there are any errors and log says there are no errors and it says that there are four observations and six variables let me open the data set and this is the total expenditure and the total expenditure for the finance and IT department for each observation there is given but we want the total additional expenditure means the total money spent by the company for this i will use the proc sql proc sql is not a matter but uh, for the easy result i will use the proc sql statement here select we want to add the total expenditure variable because we want the total amount that's spent by the company to increase their salary so we have to add everything in the total expenditure this is all for observations for single, it's, on, it's almost core observation, so we can add easily. But for the heavy data, we can't add easily. So I'm going to use the sum statement here. And we have to add the total expenditure variable. So we have to add the total expenditure variable. Let me copy the total expenditure variable and paste it here. And which is represented as a new variable named total additional expenditure from the data set uh, eligible one let me copy this and the run quit statement for the proc sql when i execute this we will have oh, here that actually there is an error sorry here. let me use it when I created the, the answer is 32,700 and the first question answer was four observations means the employees who meet the criteria in the finance and IT department of four members and the total additional expenditure spent by the company after implementing the data set was 32,700 and that is the answer and uh, if you like this video please subscribe to the great online training channel thank you Thank you for watching.